Hey witches, welcome back. Today I'm burning a green candle. I think it looks black on the video, but it's dark, dark green because we're going to be talking about Lunasad or Lamas. What it is, how to celebrate it, how to decorate for it, all of that fun stuff. Okay, so we've got another Sabbath coming up. This year it is going to be on Saturday, August 1st. Now because it's a cross quarter day, it typically is always scheduled for August 1st, but not always, sometimes it's on the 2nd, but this year, 2020, it is on August 1st, which is a Saturday, like I said. Now it is a cross quarter day because it falls halfway between the summer solstice and the autumnal or fall equinox. Lunasad or Lamas, whatever you like to call it, is the beginning of the harvest season. We are observing the fact that our days are getting shorter and our nights are getting longer. So yes, it's a celebration of the first harvest, but it also comes with the knowledge that the power of the sun is starting to wane. This is the time that we want to have gratitude, gratitude for the abundance of the previous season, because this is when we are bringing it all in. You are going to reap the rewards of what you've sown. Give yourself a little, a little pat on the back for everything that you've made happen, everything that you've harvested, harvested, so to speak, everything that you've made and worked hard for. Especially because Letha, our last Sabbath, is of course a time for self-growth. So getting into therapy, exploring the shadow self, improving upon a skill or a talent. So now at Lunasad, you wanna look at how far you've come with that work and celebrate it. Acknowledge the work you've put in, acknowledge the help you've received along the way, and just take a time to reflect on that. Have gratitude, be proud, out of yourself. That doesn't necessarily mean just stop what you're doing. Of course, you want to continue that journey, but it's Lunasad is just a day where you're going to take a break and take it all in. Just take count of how far you've come. So let's say you want to decorate either your altar or maybe even your whole house for llamas. You're going to want to use a lot of greens and of course, a lot of colors that represent the sun. Everything from gold to orange, all those yellows in between. Go to the store, get yourself some dried corn husks and make yourself a corn dolly. You also wanna lay out wheat, grain, and corn. And of course, things you've made. And they don't necessarily have to be things that you made in the past season, just things that you put a lot of time and effort into. As far as activities go, the, the best, funnest thing that you can probably do, in my opinion anyway, is attend a harvest festival. Now, 2020. It's a weird year. <laughs> so a lot of places are not going to be hosting harvest festivals, or you may just live in a place that never has harvest festivals. Host your own, invite friends over. Again, it's a weird year for that because of the pandemic, but if you can safely invite people over, make it a potluck. Try to cook something yourself if you can, but if you're not much of a cook, that's okay. Grab together something at the store that's fresh and preferably local. So veggie or fruit platters, rotisserie chickens, cheese trays, things like that. I just would say avoid getting frozen or processed foods. And then have a feast. Bringing it down to something a little more tame, you can light a green candle, bake some bread or cakes, clip herbs from your garden and hang them up to dry. Make your own besom toast the sunset, go out and harvest seeds from either local plants or from your own garden and make sure to save them for next year. Take stock of what you are grateful for and things that you have achieved. Definitely focus on the present, but you don't have to limit this to things that you achieved just during the summer so far. Or if you have it available to you, go to a local orchard or farm where they allow people to come on with like a basket and you can, you know, pick and harvest things because that's always really fun and definitely in the spirit of the occasion. This is a great time to do any spells for success and for abundance. I mean, this Sabbath is all about bringing in the abundance from the growing season. So that is a perfect imitation for sympathetic magic regarding, like I said, success and abundance. And remember, this is a time that we want to really recognize the sun, all the the sun has helped bring to us and of course recognize the fact that the sun's power is starting to wane so it's also a really great time to utilize any form of sun magic all right which is that's everything if you like this video hit that thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button because i definitely have more to offer you here <laughs> 
leave me a comment down below and tell me how you enjoy celebrating Lunasad and any adaptations that you're going to have to make this year due to the pandemic. You can find me on Instagram, shoot me an email if you have any questions, comments, complaints, or anything you'd like me to cover in a future video. But for now, I'm wishing you all a very, very merry Lunasad. I'll see you all next time.